what is beauty? God is beauty, and he both reveals and conceals that beauty in the glimpses of himself that we are blessed to perceive this side of heaven. Beauty is Jesus Christ. Beauty is living the liturgy as intensely as possible, allowing our minds, hearts, and spirits to be formed by God through the prayer of our Mother, the Church. What is beautiful? Where do I perceive beauty in our life? The Holy Mass. Encounter with God's Holy Word. Gregorian Chant. The beauty of our contemplative life is revealed in the depths of the life itself, where the smallest signs of beauty immediately alert us to prayer and somehow mystically radiate out to the world the beauty inherent in all created things. The most beautiful thing about our life is that we have beauty himself at its heart and center. All the beauty of our poor Claire way of life flows out from this. Beauty is a glimpse into what is heavenly. The greater the purity, the more beautiful. The divine harvest penetrates and permeates us with God's words. Praying together brings us to an encounter with God Himself, source of all truth, goodness, and beauty. tremendous moral beauty in a life that is dedicated entirely to God, and there is great beauty in a community of persons who all want to live with and for God.
beauty of praying the Divine Office by day and by night. One of the most beautiful aspects of our life is that we share in the mystery of Mary, in her spiritual motherhood. By bringing forth Christ in souls through our life of prayer, sacrifice, and love. What I find most beautiful about our life is our being alone with Jesus together. Although we seek to dwell with God alone as contemplatives, we do this as a community, seeking the face of God together. Beauty is both gift and responsibility. Everything in our life is as beautiful as we make it or allow it to be. Beauty demands that we live beautifully. The beauty of our holy habit. There is great beauty in fidelity to our monastic customs which both express and create the unity of our community life. And lead us not into temptation. In the name of God, take our holy thoughts. Beauty gives us calm and peace, molding us into more loving persons who can compassionate the sufferings of others. Dear Mother Vicarist and dear sisters, let us pray for our Holy Mother the Church, our Holy Father the Pope, our Bishop, very reverend fathers general and provincial, all our poor clear sisters, and all those who have asked our prayers today. We see beauty exemplified in our united effort to live the gospel of Jesus. To the question, what is beautiful in our life? I would answer the sisters themselves and suggest two ways of thinking about it, which beautify the whole notion of community, interdependence, and acceptance of others. When I seek in this way, I am always finding in my sisters untold little helps, insights, and gifts. The beauty of holy poverty, humility, and simplicity. The beauty of working together, of the support that is both given and received by each member. Our striving to live the two great commandments of love of God and neighbor finds particularly beautiful expression during our evening recreation hour. The beauty of Franciscan joy and gratitude for the gift of sisters. The beauty of charity. The beauty of the sisters' laughter. The beauty of living in harmony with the one who dwells in our midst. Our horarium serves beauty by balancing prayer, work, and recreation. Beauty is a reflection of God perceived by the senses which elevates the spirit. Jesus, in the Blessed Sacrament, 
our monastic choir. Adoration. The sound of the bells. Sacred art and architecture. Order. The change of seasons in our monastery garden. Beauty is God's key to the human heart. He uses beauty to open us. If we are suddenly aware of an opening of our hearts, then we know that God has turned a key, and we have experienced beauty. Anything in our life can be used by God as a key to one of our hearts. The same key may work for many people. But there may also be very individual keys, which he knows will work only for you. Beauty is the manifestation of God's perfections in creation. The beauty of poetry. In all modes shall I sing it. Thanks for time's beginning. The day God taught the sun to make a dawn. In self-effacement pastel, then flame full in noon. How to step back in western glory? In all modes shall I sing it. Thanks for folded flowers, shy whisper of His love that must be told. Beauty is congruity with the thought of God. When someone or something becomes what God intends. That person or thing is beautiful. Beauty is everywhere we see Jesus. Beauty is in our bridal covenant with Christ. Come, my chosen one, and I will place in you my throne. For the king has desired your beauty. I, Sister Maria Jose of Jesus, vow to God, before the witness of the Blessed Virgin Mary, our Father Saint Francis, our Mother Saint Claire, and all the saints, and I promise you, Mother, to observe for a period of three years the form of life which the Blessed Francis. Gave to our Blessed Mother Claire, and Pope Innocent the Fourth confirmed, living in obedience, in poverty, and in chastity, and I vow to observe in closure. And I, on the part of God, promise you, if you keep this life everlasting, we give you this rule to observe. Cherish, receive the breviary, and begin the canonical hours in the name of the Church through Christ our Lord. Listen, daughter, and see, and incline your ear. Forget your people and your father's house, for the king has desired your beauty.